From the introduction of anti-lock braking in 1980, to the advent of GPS just two decades later, automobiles have been in a near constant state of evolution since their inception. In the early 2000s, electronics accounted for just 18% of a vehicle's total cost. In 2020, that number leapt to 40%, and by 2030, it will be nearly half the cost of a vehicle's production. The industry is well on its way to an electric, autonomous future, but we still have a ways to go. So, what's next? Welcome to City Digital, presented by DigiKey, powered by analog devices and supply frame. In this episode, we'll explore the rise of electric vehicles and the inclusion of new technologies in modern vehicles. How is consumer demand driving this evolution? And what challenges remain for manufacturers? Technology is constantly improving both the safety and comfort of the modern driving experience. What role will technology play in transforming the daily commute? There's nothing else that you're going to buy in your life that will have as much technology as a car. And yet when you look at how cars are being used, they're replacing a lot of what we would have associated with the home in the past. I'm Yasmin King. I'm the vice president of the Automotive Cabin Experience Group. We build all the technology that you see when you sit in your car, you're looking at the displays, you're seeing the cameras. That's all the technology that we help build and provide. We spend a lot of time thinking about future R&D innovation. We've gone from having no driver assist systems to now you can take your hands off the wheel, maybe even look away from the road for a bit. We're not too far out from being completely autonomous. One of the biggest challenges that we face, how do you take all this huge amount of bandwidth that's coming in and process it in a low latency, fast, real-time manner so that you can respond to a car or someone walking out in front of you just as quickly as if the human were driving the vehicle. We're now almost 60 years old of a company and at the core of it, it's all about how do you solve problems and not just any problem, but how do you solve the difficult ones? The ones that are so hard everybody else avoids, uh, that's where you see analog devices jumping in. Brian Medelak, Director of Application Engineering at DigiKey, breaks down the nuanced meaning behind the future of transportation. You're looking at about 1,400 to 1,500 different components in a new vehicle today, which comprises roughly half the cost of the vehicle. And that's just continuing to grow. There's such a wide variety of products that are needed for any industry nowadays. So it's not just sourcing them, but also getting them to work together and to do it quickly. Being faced with supply chain constraints, many customers are trying to either do redesigns or modify their designs to be more flexible so that they can have the components available to them when they need to purchase for production. What DigiKey needs to do and what we're working on is how do we make that simpler for the customer? I mean, I like to say that we have the world's largest toy box. We obviously stock a lot of products, but how do we make that process of product selection easier for the customer? How do we associate the information they're gonna to need to design that product in? How are we going to intelligently present options for associated products that they will most likely need? What is the future of mobility and what does that look like? Does everybody own a car? Does everyone need to own a car? So I think there's a lot of creative ways of thinking what does transportation mean to us and how does transportation fit into the future city? Much like the vehicles we drive every day, the future of transportation is complex and ever-changing. Today's manufacturers must balance consumer demand with evolving technology and the need for sustainable forms of production. It's a difficult balance to strike, but one that will be crucial for the future of City Digital.